One of the interesting aspects of SketchUp is your ability to create, play, and even export animations. And you can do that really effectively by using your scene tabs. So here up at the upper left, I have a variety of scene tabs that I've been using in the last few videos, and we're going to use those to create an animation. One of the first things that you might want to do is either manually click through your tabs to see how they flow from one to the other, or you can actually view a preliminary animation. So as I flip from one tab to the next, you'll see that it basically plays the animation from one scene to the next and gives you an idea of what that's going to look like. Now as I've done that, I've noticed there's a variety of uh, scenes that kind of cut through the walls and that type of thing, uh, but I'm noticing from perhaps my overview scene to scene three might flow better, but I have scene two in between. What I can do is just right click and move those. So if I say I want to move this one left, I'm going to have a better flow between one scene and the next. So it takes a little bit of tweaking and setting up of your scenes to get a good flow there. Once you have that, if you go to the View tab and way down at the bottom you'll see Animation, you'll have the ability to of course add and delete scenes here as you can in the Scene Manager, or we could play or play with the settings. So if I hit play and just wait a moment, I'm able to watch this manually go through and play this scene by scene. And please take note that it's also changing the styles and everything else along with it at the same time. So you have a lot of interesting customizable things there uh, if you take the time to do it. I'm just going to hit stop. If I go up to view an animation again, you'll see that you can play with some of the settings. Under the animation part, you'll see that you can enable scene transitions, which is something I personally like to do, and then how long those take. So we're at two seconds for transition, and you delay on each scene for one second. So if I wanted to arrow that up, I could say that I would like to pause and look at each scene for three seconds, and then have that flow two seconds in between. And that will definitely change, while I go to view, animation, and play, how it reacts while I'm looking at it. So this is just sort of a screenshot preview. So now it should pause here for three seconds and then flip around. I'm just going to hit pause. Once you have something you like, you then have the option, well, I'll just get out of there, to go to File, Export, and you can actually export this animation. Once you get in there, you just select where you'd like this to go, what type of file you'd like it to be. So I would like it to be an AVI file. If I say JPEG, it will send out a whole bunch of separate images. So I'll do AVI. And you can even go into Options before hitting Export. When you go into Options, take note that you can change the width and the height. So a 320 by 240 animation is going to be quite small. And you can also change the ratio. So if I'd like this to be widescreen, I might change this to 16 by 9. And then you'll see that it changed from 320 to 240 down to 180. If I change this top number to, let's say, 800, for example, that bottom number comes up proportionally because these are locked, although I could turn that off if I wanted to change the proportions. The frame rate is defaulting at about 29 there, and that's pretty normal, that's very standard, so I'm going to leave it, although I could choose less or more. And what codec's being used. So you actually have a lot of options there, and that's something that can get a little bit more complicated, um, but generally the standard options that SketchUp has works very well. Once you have the settings that you like, you can hit OK, and then hit Export. It will take your computer a little while to render each frame, but then you will have a separate AVI file that you can send to anyone, put on a website, whatever you'd like to do, that they'll be able to play. If you don't do that, they won't most likely be able to open up your SketchUp file unless they have SketchUp in, uh, installed on their own computer, so an AVI file is a nice way to communicate your design other than just using the separate individual images.